What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. Time for my week 11 playoff predictions and we've made some changes here. I've, it seems like every other week I'll make a change to my playoff predictions and every other week you're going to get a video. And like last year and years past I've done this video every single week. Uh, even if, if nothing has changed I would still do a video. But I've kind of just been waiting until I uh, maybe make a change in my prediction. So we'll go through the, my playoff predictions and also my New Year 6 predictions where I think those teams will go um, as well. So let's start with the number one seed for me. It's still the Georgia Bulldogs. I still think Georgia is going to run the table. I know Alabama is looking really good, and a lot of people are now thinking maybe the Crimson Tide can take down Georgia. Georgia's got Ole Miss and Tennessee coming up before that, though, so it's not going to be an easy path. But I think they get through it. Uh, I still think this is is a, a really, really good team. I know at times this year maybe they haven't looked as good as, as they have in the past, but I think they're going to come through, get some wins here in these games, and I think they finish undefeated. I worry about Alabama, and they're, you know, they are very one-dimensional. I know they can hit some deep passes, and, and the passing game is getting better, but I, I, I wonder about if they can stretch the field enough, make enough plays through the air to beat Georgia. That's why I'm leaning Georgia in the SEC Championship, but I think it's going to be a good game. I think it will be very close, and I wouldn't be surprised if Alabama winds up winning that game, uh, which... Probably would actually, I don't know, Georgia, depending on how things go, Georgia might not even make the college football playoff if they lose that game just because we have so many contenders this year. My number two team is still Michigan. So I still think Michigan is going to run the table as well. I think they're going to go undefeated. Really don't know a lot about Michigan. I know, I mean, they've been very consistent. They've been very good all year, but they just have not played any tough competition. We're going to find out this week when they play Penn State. We're going to find out just how good this Michigan team is. Cannot wait to watch that matchup. And I'll find out if, if, if this is a prediction that I'm, I'm feeling good about or maybe not so good about Ohio State, Michigan. I think it's going to come down to that game. I've got the Wolverines winning and then winning the Big Ten Championship. And then I've still got Florida State number three. So my top three have not changed. I've still got Florida State running the table. They've got some games that could potentially trip them up. Miami this week's a rivalry game. You know, you're going to have the ACC Championship most likely against Louisville. But I think they get through those games. I think they're going to finish undefeated. My number four team is the team that I've changed. I've now got Oregon in there at number four. I think you look at the USC game, that's a game that they should win the way USC has been playing. I think they're better than Oregon State. I think they win that game. And then I think they beat Washington in a rematch in the Pac-12 championship. So I've got the Ducks getting in at number four. Uh, and then you have to wonder, though, what if it's Texas? What if Texas is sitting there with one loss and they win the Big 12 championship, who gets in? Well, right now, Oregon's ahead of them, and I don't think Texas is going to be able to pass them. So even if Texas runs the table, I don't think they're going to get in. I think Oregon's going to get in. Texas is in a tough spot. They really are. Um, I, they're not going to get in over Georgia or Michigan or Florida State in this scenario, obviously, with those teams being undefeated. And then, you know, if Ohio State loses to Michigan, I don't know if Texas will even pass Ohio State. And I do not think they're going to pass Oregon when Oregon is ahead of them now. And they've got a chance to get some really big wins on their resume. So I think the Ducks get in at number four. And we go Georgia, Michigan, Florida State, Oregon. I'll come back and uh, give you predictions for the rest of these games. So let's go through the other New Year's Six Bowls first. We got the Orange Bowl. So I've now got Ole Miss and Louisville here. I think the Rebels lose to, to Georgia this weekend. But that's their only loss. So they're 10-2. and two. That's enough to get them in. And Louisville... I think they probably lose at least one more game, but there's just nobody. There's nobody in the ACC to really take this spot. I think they wind up staying ranked. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if North Carolina loses another game or two and they fall out of the rankings, but I think Louisville, uh, they, they might be the only other ACC team besides Florida State ranked at the end of the day, and so I think they will face Ole Miss here in the Orange Bowl, and you got to have ACC versus either SEC or Big Ten. That's why I picked this matchup. Next, we got the Fiesta Bowl. So I think Tulane is going to be the highest ranked Group of Five champion. I think this seems good enough to run the table. Uh, if they don't make it, who gets in? Uh, that'll be really interesting uh, because there are a lot of teams that could potentially take that spot. Of course, James Madison, uh, they have sent a letter to the NCAA trying to get eligibility here. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see. But that, if James Madison does, perhaps they could get into this conversation. Right? They... I don't know where, you know, I really don't know where the committee would rank them right now. I don't know if they'd be ahead of Tulane or not. Um, Air Force was not, so that would be interesting. And then Washington, I think, again, they lose to Oregon. Wouldn't be surprised if they lose a game in the regular season as well. So this could be a two-loss Washington team. 
going up against Tulane or even a one loss team and that if they are if they just have that one loss to Oregon they're going to be right there at the edge of the playoff uh, but at least a New Year's Six Bowl for the Huskies I've got Alabama and Penn State in the Peach Bowl these would just be you know pick two at large teams here I think the Crimson Tide uh, I think they're going to win out except for that game against Georgia in the SEC Championships so obviously they'll be ranked high enough Penn State I do not have beating Michigan but I think they win their final game. So I think they're ranked high enough. And uh, this is the matchup here in the Peach Bowl. And then I think we're going to see Ohio State and Texas in the Cotton Bowl. So Texas could, again, win out but not make the college football playoff. A very realistic scenario of that happening. And I think Ohio State, with just the one loss to Michigan, gets in. A couple of weeks ago, I had Ohio State actually in the playoff at 11-1. But now, uh, with when you look at Oregon and Washington and you think one of those teams is probably going to get in, um, I don't think the, they would pass a one-loss Texas either. So uh, I think that they wind up in the Cotton Bowl here, Ohio State versus Texas in this matchup, and uh, that should be a good one there to the Blue Buds in college football. Then we go back to the playoff bracket here, Georgia-Oregon first game, a rematch from the opening game of the season last year. Uh, Oregon's a good team, and uh, they've been proving that. I think they will play Georgia much, much tougher this time. But when you give Kirby Smart that much time to prepare, I think that's going to be the difference. Georgia wins a close one, but I've still got Georgia going to the national championship. Then Michigan, Florida State. Again, I just think Michigan is the most complete team right now. I think they're a better overall team than Florida State, not by a ton, but it's enough for them to get this win. Another close game. I think we'll see close games in the semifinals. Georgia, Michigan in the national championship. Of course, all the sign stealing, all that with Michigan. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm doing my predictions as if they will be eligible and, and there's not going to be any uh, real consequences, at least for this year. And I'm going to stick with my pick. It's been my pick every single week going back to the preseason. I've had Michigan winning the national championship. I may change that pick after I see them play Penn State. Again, still just kind of waiting to see them play a really good team. And we're going to see that finally on Saturday. And then I think we'll know. I'll feel either really good or really bad about this pick and potentially we'll make a change if need be or maybe i stick with michigan again we'll find out about the wolverines against penn state on saturday give me your updated playoff predictions down in the comments below and thanks for watching